What's up, y'all? Blade from Red Eclipse here, bringing you the next war recap uh, where we took down Ray Stos Rubos. Uh, so, this war, you know, as you can see from the total destruction, was actually shockingly close, I, I want to say. Um, and, you know, we, we came out six stars on top. But, you know, they actually had us on the ropes kind of early. They um, they went in, you know, they three-starred me down, and then they also, you know, snagged a couple three-stars on some of our higher bases. Uh, Oost, Bistos, and Philly are number one. He's an 8.5, so that was that was definitely a shocker. Um, and, and, yeah, it scared us a little bit. But yeah, pretty early in, they had a... You know, probably a 10-star lead using the same amount of attacks, which is just definitely not something we were accustomed to. You know, we had quite a few failed raids at the very beginning, just not a good hit rate, but um, we regrouped, and, you know, the last half, more like the last third of the war, uh, we really came together and uh, got it done. You know, three-starred, all the nines except for number seven there. And, you know, two-start all the tens, so. Ended up doing just fine, but definitely a couple couple uh, minutes where we were a little concerned, so. Um, anyways, I'm going to start off just uh, with some replays, starting off with Snap, Crackle, Pop. This is also known as Do Work from One Hive 2.0. We were needed one more for war. We were trying to get somebody to opt in, and... He's like, hey, you know what? I'm available. Sent his you know mini account over to join us, and he snagged a couple three stars for us. Uh, so, um, yeah, do work has been awesome to us. You know, one of our greatest uh, friends and advocates of our clan ever since he came and did the Hog Rider series on us. So much appreciation to him, and uh, awesome to have him over hanging out with us. So. And bringing us a sweet raid. So I like this because, you know, I like uh, showing things different from Goho since, you know, that's that's our specialty. And so this was a really cool um, Go La Loon that he comes in here. Uh, just sort of a CB with some giants going after that one air defense in the queen. And, you know, heroes in there. King going in, taking down the uh, defensive queen. Now he's going to beat down the rest of that air defense. So that's down. Now he's got four hounds between the three that he brought and the two and the or and the one in the CC. First hound soaks up a lot with uh, some of those air traps there. Balloons come in, knock down that air defense. More hounds coming across there for the third air defense. You know, soaking up some nice traps. You know, really good. Deployment on those. Just tons of balloons moving around through these rages, uh, taking stuff down. Uh, that air sweeper giving a little bit of a little bit of trouble, but no big deal. Final hound still has plenty of health left. Going to go absorb some bombs, do some tanking on that air defense while these last balloons go through that rage and uh, zigzag their way towards that air defense before getting in there and taking it down. And that's pretty much that. You know, one archer tower and one wizard tower to finish up with those loons. You know, tons of pups and some minions around the outside doing some cleanup. Actually, oh, yeah, I forgot. The whiz tower, that one whiz tower survives. And, uh, you know, but just couldn't do enough to get down all those pups quite quick enough. Kind of close, but I uh, got it done. So thank you for hanging out with us, and thank you for bringing us the awesome attack, man. Hopefully, actually, he and I were talking about doing a collaborative video sometime, so hopefully I'll be bringing that to you soon. That'll be a ton of fun to watch. Um, get the two of us on air and uh, talk on some attacks and whatnot, so. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. He's He hung out with us for another war, so we'll see what how this one goes and uh, see if we can get something together for that. And so here we got Beastos. <clears throat> Coming in on number six. Really cool. A couple of really cool things in this attack here. You know, gets that free cannon with the loon. Lures the CC. Uh, you know, this you've probably seen a lot, but you know, our 
yeah. We've not done this too much, so a nice little healer archer trick to occupy that Lava Hound. For the raid, totally take it out of play. So that's just going to hang out up there while Beast trashes the rest of the space. So <clears throat> One of the cool things he does here, you know, he sends in his golems, starts working on his funnel, and uh, pretty soon he's going to start deploying the wall breakers. And he has a wall breaker fail. He sends a test wall breaker, heads into that corner, and turns out that Tesla, or that uh, um, Expo, was not occupied by a golem, and that wall breaker just barely gets in range. And it kills it. So Beast takes a second, regroups, and sends three more wall breakers to a different route, and they break right in. So gets exactly what he was looking for. Uh, you know, he doesn't get into the compartment with that wizard tower and the archer tower, which, you know, was part of the original plan. But, um, you know, no big deal. Still gets to where he needs to. King goes in there, takes down the defending queen, uh, gets that jump into the core compartment, and gets a little work done there. And then it's just surgical hog deployment from there. You know, starting here at the bottom and going to work his way all the way around the, the right side of the base. Gets that first, you know, super patient with that first heal. Um, maybe, I guess maybe a little too patient. I don't know. Works out fine. <clears throat> you know, still nice pack of hogs moving around up there. And still has 10 more to deploy in. His king, or his queen, has survived. And is just working around the outside of the base. You know, cleaning up a bunch of trash buildings and whatnot. Uh, now he's got some wizards down. Cleaning up some trash at the bottom right of the base. And, you know, last heal there. As his, you know, hogs just finish up the last few defenses. And that's that. Clean up from here. Really nice hit, man. Great adjustment on that wall breaker. Oh, and they do... Yeah, it does Does finally uh, pop that that hound. But he's got two poisons and just pretty much poisons down those pups and whatnot. But the base is done, so it didn't really matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, who was the next one? Uh, I do have Oost on one of these, but I don't think it was that one. Here we go. Yeah. So Oost comes in here with a really sweet plan. Does a double zap quake to get these top two air defenses. This is actually not a bad base. Uh, you know, vulnerable to this attack strategy for sure, but um, uh, whatever, not, not the worst base that we've ever seen, that is for sure. Uh, but yeah, so then he comes in here with a shattered um, Goho, breaks both of these compartments with wall breakers so that he can go in there and, you know, the plan is he's going to get the queen, the defending queen, and those air defenses, uh, which he does perfectly. He sends his king into that right compartment, which is the one where the queen is likely to jump into. Hound comes out of the CC and locks onto the, his king. His king actually, uh, yeah. So his king actually walks, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, but it works amazingly because the hound just follows the king some wizards chase the hound and whatever they um, don't mess up the rest of the raid his queen takes down the uh, air defense and the, de the defending queen nicely and you know she ta kills this tesla off uses her ability ends up getting this sweeper and um, you know all that's left is the one air defense and he's got some hounds to deal with that, so, uh, <clears throat> ends up where, oh, and Queen actually does ultimately take down that defense, I guess I kind of forgot about that, um, yeah, kind of just a, a crazy, <laughs> crazy raid the way that worked out, uh, but really works out perfect, and has tons of loons here on the, the back side here to take down the defenses that remain, his king and queen miraculously survive the entire raid, uh, which is, which is nuts, um, this <laughs> king with just that sliver of health after dealing with that lava hound for all that time. 
Uh, ends up pretty much saving two balloons in the bag to just drop for cleanup uh, because his, you know, this is just a beast parade. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it, you know, it was kind of an interesting base. It had a couple nice features about it, but uh, yeah, he noticed that big weakness to the double zap quick La Loon, and uh, yeah, awesome hit. So be on the lookout for that. I think that plan right there is doable probably more than we think or notice so keep an eye out for that uh and you know i th i think that's it for now yeah we kind of did pretty well on the higher bases and had to we dipped a lot i had quite a few dips um whether it was you know our low nines hitting down on eights or just some of our you know heavier hitting nines dropping down and cleaning up some of the lower nines. Uh, but yeah, but we got it done. We got the win. So great job, everybody. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace.